Hi guys, today I want to present to you one of my favorite training programs for gaining muscle mass. So this was the first training program I've ever developed when I finally felt that I got it all right. And so this was back in the late 90s when I came across writings by Stuart McRobert. And as I was trying to figure out the whole abbreviated training philosophy, this is what I ended up with. And so as you can see, this training program prescribes three training sessions per week. And you're basically alternating two exercise complexes, A and B. So complex A contains bench press, standing press, dips, and exercise complex B contains squats, bend over rows, and chin ups. And so you just alternate them as you go along. And the only exception is that when exercise complex B falls on Friday, instead of bend over rows, you perform deadlifts. Now this could also be done in the other way where you just alternate deadlift and bend over rows uh, throughout your B training sessions. But I personally like it this way because I feel like when you get uh, squats and deadlifts in the same workout, that ends up being a bit of a beat down. And so I like when that happens on Friday because at least that way I know that I'll get Saturday and Sunday to rest. So now let's talk about sets and reps. So as you can see, the number of repetitions per set increases as the training session progresses. So this is something that I learned from Olympic weightlifting because the way training sessions are usually structured in Olympic weightlifting is that when you are fresh in the beginning of training session, you usually focus mostly on power and strength. And then as you get more and more fatigued, you sort of switch towards more hypertrophy slash endurance type of work. And so this is the same idea here. And another benefit of this is that as we are doing this, we're also exposing our muscles to greater variety of different thresholds while still staying within optimum range for hypertrophy. Just don't forget to notice that none of these sets include warm-up sets. So that's the whole training program, guys. And all we basically have here is seven all-times best muscle building exercises that we know of all perform with their own optimum frequency within a variety of different repetition ranges and while keeping volume reasonable for drug-free athlete. And this is why I believe that you simply cannot go wrong with this training program. And I know that as some of you are watching this, you might be thinking, oh, look at this. Keep it simple, stupid, right? And on one hand, it's true. But on the other hand, I disagree with that because I find that the whole KISS acronym is very misleading because what looks simple for somebody who been doing this, who's been doing this for some time, is usually very, very opposite from simple for somebody who's completely brand new to this. So a few months ago, I decided to make a video where I talked about all the major factors that have to be taken into account while designing a training program. And I thought it was going to be a very short video where I just hit all the main points. And me hitting all the main points turned out to be one hour long video. And this is why I'm not a big fan of the whole KISS acronym. Because even when something looks very simple at first glance, it's usually very, very complicated the moment you start digging in a little deeper. And even though I just said that this training program contains nothing but the best muscle building exercises, I know for sure that at least some of you guys are already thinking about maybe adding some triceps extensions here and bicep curls right here. And I do want to discourage you guys from doing it because all that's really going to do is take away some resources that you could otherwise invest into these high dividend stocks, so to speak. And it's especially true for a beginner because if you are still on that very steep portion of the accommodation curve, the secondary involvement of your triceps and your biceps and all these exercises it's going to be more than enough for you to grow your arms as long as you're making progress in all these exercises. So why do anything that will get in the way of you making progress in all these exercises? Now, it's a little different story for very advanced athletes because the secondary involvement of your biceps and triceps will probably no longer be enough for you to grow your arms. But you should still avoid adding any of the isolation work to this training program just for different reasons. So those of you who watched my video where I talk about growing your arms without steroids might remember that we said that once you reach very advanced levels and you start lifting really heavy weights, a lot of those specialized exercises for your arms become very hard on your joints. And this is why it's important to periodically take a break from all that isolation work. And this training program would be a perfect time for you to do it. 
So now let's talk about the proper modifications. And we're going to start with beginners. So obviously for beginners, things would have to move more towards lesser volume of their training. And so one way to do it would be by performing three sets in the first exercise instead of five, two sets in the second exercise instead of four, and one set in the last exercise instead of three. And then once you utilize this for a few months, you would now move up to four sets, three sets, and two sets. And now once again, once you utilize this for another few months, you would now finally arrive at the full version of this training program. And another useful modification that would be appropriate for beginners would be removing the last exercise of each training session for the first few months. And this would be especially helpful for those of you who are unable to initially perform full body weight chin up and dip. Now for intermediates, modifications would probably have to do with utilizing some type of a wave. So let me give you an illustration. So this is basically an analogy of the ATP wave that I described in detail in my advanced training program video. And so if you guys are wondering what's going on on the board right now, you can go ahead and check it out. And I do believe that that wave is perfect for transitioning from intermediate to an advanced level. And once you are in advanced level, you will probably have to start utilizing some type of block periodization. And there are two ways to do it while using this training program. So the first way is that what you can do is you can perform five sets of five reps in all exercises of this training program for a few weeks and then switch to performing three sets of ten reps in all exercises of this training program for another few weeks and then you would just alternate blocks like that throughout and the second way to do it would be by alternating periods of training when you're utilizing this training program with periods of training when you're utilizing some other different training program and I have few examples of training programs that would be appropriate already posted on this channel and of course if you want more of my training programs you guys can go ahead and check out my book Big and Strong Without Steroids and to finish this episode I wanted to give you guys a quick story here so back when I designed this training program I had a training partner and so we started using this program together and it was great success but after about one year of training, I started to notice that both of us sort of plateaued a little bit. And so I proposed that we switch to something else. But he did not want to do it because that's how much he liked this training program. And we actually ended up having to split up. And so this is just something I wanted to leave you guys with. And I really hope that I was able to convince you to give this a shot because this really is a great training program. Just don't forget that I'm presenting it to you guys completely free so the least you could do is like the video and subscribe to the channel but otherwise this is all I have for you guys for today so thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time